Hello everybody. Uh, today I just want to do a final video on how to build your own solar panel. Pretty much go over the cost that I uh, went through on this one. Uh, first I'll start with the uh, solar cells. I have 36 solar cells uh, in this panel. And with the, the kit that I bought, uh, it came with you know solar cells, uh, tabbing wire, bus wire, solder, the, the flux pen, and since I bought it in bulk, it cost uh, two dollars a cell. So uh, 36 times two is 72 dollars for all the cells. But remember, if you buy a smaller kit, they're going to cost you a little more. You buy a, a bigger bulk of cells, it's going to be cheaper. I've seen them even around a, a dollar if you buy a big enough bulk. Okay, the uh, the glass on the front and back that was free from the other free windows that I get, and also the, uh, the dividers, the spacers in the middle, those came out of the windows as well, so that was free. And on the bottom one here, this is one I used plexiglass on. Uh, the plexiglass was six dollars, and on top I used the uh, EVA. Um, the EVA I kind of had a guess on. I can't find it online anymore. I don't know what happened to it. It used to be everywhere and all of a sudden it just kind of disappeared. But the EVA I just rounded to $5. So that's just a rough guess of what I spent for, for that section. And this one here is what I used the resin on uh, from uh, Michael's, which is a little pricey. Ran about $7 with a coupon. And on the back here, Okay. On the back we have the blocking diode which is, you know, wrapped up in tape, but the blocking diode I believe was either a dollar and change or two dollars and change. I just rounded up to three dollars. And you get two of those, so you know, whatever it was cut in half, so that probably a, a dollar something is what that one cost. Uh the soap dish that was two dollars and Plenty of space in there works really good. The braces, there's six braces on the back and four on the front. Uh, all of those together round up about nine dollars. And the window seal, the black window seal that goes around the windows, that was free. Uh, so I did go back to the place and ask the owner if he would sell me some, and he sold me two of the big rolls for nine dollars each so I if you did have to buy it which you know you probably would uh, maybe you're using a couple dollars worth but I just put that in as free because I didn't have to pay for it um, and last but not least we have all this wire here the cheapest wire I found was at uh, Radio Shack and you get a, a big spool of it and I believe it came out to be around 16 cents a foot and Wire's not terribly expensive. I, I've seen it at Lowe's and I've purchased, purchased it at Lowe's before. And I think it was 23 or 24 cents a foot. So either way, it's, it's not terrible. But this I did round up to uh, $3. Even though I only spent like $2 and change on it. So the whole solar panel, this one anyway, with the different types of vapor barriers, uh, ran me $110. And that's not too bad. But if you wanted to make a cheaper one and just wanted to use a you know, piece of glass and a different vapor barrier, like the contact paper, we could take out you know the resin, the EVA, and the plexiglass. Without those, you're looking at $92. So uh, you're saving about $18 uh, per per panel. So after a few panels, you'd save enough to just go ahead and make another one. So, um, pretty good savings if you uh, don't want to use those vapor barriers. But I uh, just want to try all the different vapor barriers, see what works best. And I will also, if one of these has a problem down the road, you know, a couple years, four or five years, one of these has a problem, I'll, I'll just post it. Um, and just continue to let everybody know, you know, this stuff works great or this stuff couple years later it, it just fell apart so but we'll uh, we'll see on that so uh, that, that 
should be it. Oh, I did want to mention, I had uh, one of the subscribers ask, would I uh, make this again? Uh, absolutely. Um, I don't plan on buying any more solar panels. I just plan on buying solar cells and making my own. It's so cheap um, to make them. It's pretty quick for me. I can uh, make one of these in about uh, two days. So they're, they're not that time consuming. The only longest thing is, is definitely putting in the, uh, the tabbing wire on the cell. But once you do even a strip, it, you get a nice rhythm and you can just crank them out after that. So, uh, but I do plan on uh, just making a whole bunch of these and making my uh, wind turbines and hopefully eventually just being completely off the grid and maybe even selling some back to the power company you know, down the road if we ever get that uh, successful and that large to where we can uh, produce that much power. So, All right, well, I appreciate all the positive feedback uh, that I've been getting on these. Um, definitely thank you very much for watching. Take care, and God bless.